Okay. Hello. Hello again. It's me, uh, Ricardo Escobar on, on Twitch. And today I would like to talk about my plans for the day. Uh, I know I am on the clock right now, but a lot of meetings for, for the day were canceled because today, uh, I don't know, but what is going to be commemorated or celebrating in India, but my, uh, the India team, so basically everybody else other than me, um, is um is celebrating something or commemorating something. It's a it's a holiday in India. Um, uh, I haven't looked into it. I don't know why. Um, uh, what's that about? But anyway, so nobody is going to be on today. So I'm going to be by myself today. So the good thing about that is that a lot of meetings were canceled for the day. So I took the opportunity to do a couple of things different today because uh, uh, most uh, most likely when I am uh, with a team, uh, they basically uh, tell me what to do for the day. And, uh, and I pretty much... Uh, uh, I am saturated uh, the entire morning and most of the evening. So today I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. Uh, the the main pain, uh, one of the main pain points on my job is the lack of uh, uh, technical documentation. Uh, to say something, you know, uh, what is technical documentation? It's basically it's not really a document per se. Uh, it's more like a, a system to to write to lock or to write off uh, how to solve stuff or why do uh, stuff happen. It's basically like a lock where you or something else or some or somebody technical uh, write off or, or or locks in. Or it's more like a block really. Uh, you explain to yourself or to somebody else uh, what are you doing on your day or how are you solving a stuff, you know? So I am on technical support right now, I guess. So uh, we solve problems be, uh, and the main um, the main channel for solving those problems and to let it and to let us know what problems uh, what problems are running on the company is basically uh, ServiceNow tickets. Uh, ServiceNow is a website based uh, ticketing system, which is basically this website where you uh, log in and if someone if someone needs help with some system or they need like a uh, they need help with something technical or uh, or business intelligence related. Well, uh, they go to the website and they uh, type in uh, their they need uh, you know they need to do um, like a report of something or some report is not working properly or or they basically uh, are waiting for some data and the data is not there or is not accurate. Uh, anything related to the data basically is going to end up in the business and intelligence uh, tower. So uh, we in the company divide responsibilities by areas and these big areas are like uh, towers. They, they call it towers basically. I belong to the business intelligence tower. Uh, which means that I am uh, in charge or or uh, or I'm taking care of everything and anything related to data uh, for the company. Uh, I know that's a, a little bit ambiguous, but uh, what basically means is that a any piece of data that they that the corporation generates or the company generates uh, belongs to the company, and, uh, and and I am pretty much in charge of making sure that the data arrives in time, is accurate, uh, you know, is not corrupted, and that it reaches out to the people that requested it and that actually need it, you know, in time. 
So basically, uh, I am a glorified ATL engineer, you know. Uh, so I basically make sure that uh, that people, uh, I, I basically move data around, you know, from database to database, from system to system, and not not necessarily databases, because a lot of uh, data sources are text files, for example, uh, comma separated text files, which are basically just text files uh, that you can open in Microsoft Excel, for example. And spreadsheets, uh, Excel spreadsheets are very popular too, but um, unless they come into a certain format, uh, it's, it's not really uh, usable most of the time, but anyway, I'm digressing again. So uh, what I'm planning to do, um, we have a, a, a really big need, which is uh, a gap we have is documentation, as I mentioned before. So uh, we are working with a lot of different systems and we are fixing and working on different uh, stuff at the same time. And one of the main pain points that I know we have is the fact that we don't really have uh, like, um, uh, like a like a documentation uh, system, you know. Uh, we do have several Confluence websites. Uh, we have several different uh, SharePoint websites to store, and and we uh, document everything using Microsoft Word, basically. So we create these uh, formal documentation files in Microsoft Word, and we are supposed to keep them updated. But the truth is that. Uh, uh, most issues are solvable just once, and they may not come over again. Uh, and the ones that repeat themselves over and over again, well, uh, uh, well, the truth is that uh, looking for answers in 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 Word documents is not really easy, you know. So you can create this pret uh, this pretty uh, good looking Word document, you know. And you can spend hours uh, typing away something or trying to explain something. Uh, but most of the time, the document is going to be stored in some hard drive or in some network uh, location somewhere. And, and looking for information is going to be a pain because you need to actually uh, open a, a Word file or maybe look into... It's not easy to look information for information inside a, a Word document, that's for sure. So what I'm looking for when I, uh, what I'm looking for answers on the internet, for example, is, uh, you know what? I really like the idea of typing something into a search bar and, and getting the most relevant links or articles about it, you know? So that's the experience that most people look for when they are looking for answers. Uh, YouTube and Google had already sold that very well, may I say, uh, especially YouTube, because now you have the, the option of not just explaining a stuff uh, directly into a video. Uh, well, you, you are explaining the stuff, but when you are looking for answers in places like Stack Overflow, uh, you are supposed to get there with a certain degree of knowledge, you know. Uh, not everybody can uh, get value out of uh, Stack Overflow. With YouTube, it's a little bit different because uh, when you are watching a video, you are actually seeing uh, the explanation moving around, you know, uh, it's, it's even better than watch a, a picture. Uh, people say that uh, a picture say more than a thousand words. Uh, well, a video says more than a thousand pictures. That's for sure. So uh, it's exponentially more clear to watch somebody explain something to you in a video than try to 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 understand something on a website. Obviously, if you already know what you're looking for and you already know how things work, if you are not a noob, obviously, if you're not a newbie, uh, well, places like Stack Overflow are going to, uh, those places are going to make more sense to you, you know? But for most uh, newcomers, for most new people, uh, new people and newcomers and noobs are basically the people 
that makes the most use of uh, this health website. So what I was thinking about is, you know what? Uh, I already know that there is this tool called Docusaurus. Docusaurus is a, uh, uh, is a meta project, uh, meta uh, in, the, uh, in the sense of the uh, formerly Facebook company. So meta, the company, uh, they have a, an open source project called Docusaurus. And uh, it's basically a technical documentation website. Uh, it allows you to create this uh, searchable website where you can actually type something in a search bar and you can locate uh, documentation files. So there are two ways to write documentation on inside Docusaurus. Uh, the first one is uh, plain text files, like um, markdown text files to be specific. And markdown format text files are basically just text files that follows certain rules to allow you to create titles and basically format, uh, uh, allow you to use this text file as a, uh, similar to an HTML page, but in a more easily to, and faster to do uh, shape. So it's basically just a, a, a regular text file. Uh, and if you follow some um, rules similar to hashtags uh, in, in Twitter, you can actually uh, create titles, create links, create uh, insert pictures. So you can create very uh, sophisticated documents using just uh, a text editor. And it's really easy. It sounds like HTML, but not really because HTML takes longer to write and is more involved to write. And, and and it requires a lot of work to to create a, an HTML web page. That's for sure. But uh, Markdown is more quick to type, more quick to work with, and you don't really focus too much on the format itself. You just focus on give it an structure as a document, and you allow the website to render the Markdown text file uh, as expected, and that's basically it. So you don't really need to to worry too much about formatting. The website is going to do it for you. So Markdown is the first uh, format used for Docusaurus to create these um, this text documents, basically, these documentation uh, files or documents. Uh, the, the, the second um, file format used for Docusaurus to create technical documentation is uh, JavaScript files. And specifically, uh, wait, and specifically, um, uh, React JavaScript files. So what is React? React is another uh, Facebook or Meta project, open source source project. It's a front end library to create websites. And the the thing, the special thing about uh, React is that allows you to modify the website. Uh, without the need to refresh it. What it means is that if I, uh, if I'm having this website live somewhere and I want to modify the document uh, and save it, whoever is watching that, it's going to see my change immediately. And that person doesn't need to refresh the website. He doesn't need to hit F5 or hit refresh. Uh, Sometimes I had seen projects where you are actually typing something and the other person on the other side is actually seeing what you're typing. It's working more like a, uh, like a, like a, one of the 2000, early 2000 chat uh, programs like, like, uh, like R IRC, I think it's called, mm. but never mind, or Merck, for example. So, or, or ICQ, but those are really all chat systems that, that nobody uses anymore. But anyway, uh, what I was talking about is basically you had these two options. You have uh, the more dynamic, more fluid, more, uh, more beautiful looking uh, React document. And the other one, which is easier to work with, is more static but it's easier to work with, uh, Markdown. Uh, 
And my idea is to create documentation inside Docusaurus in a website in Docusaurus and allow myself to be able to look for answers, you know, uh, because Docusaurus is a web, it's going to generate me a website and more importantly, it's going to generate me a, a, a searchable website. And that's going to give me a lot of advantages, you know, because it's way easier to just look for something in a search bar and get the articles myself wrote uh, beforehand. And another super advantage of that is that I'm going to be able to use video. Uh, maybe I can upload uh, videos, a screen, a screencast. It's called uh, into YouTube. Uh, not listing them, so I'm not getting uh, bombarded in my channel because uh, I'm loading stuff. And basically private the videos, probably. I could private the videos myself, I guess, and only i going to be able to watch them. Uh, I could private the videos, and I could uh, embed the videos inside the Cusaurus very easily. So I'm not, uh, I'm not only documenting everything with text and pictures, I I may actually include video inside the document itself. And combining that with the capabilities of the search bar, you know, it's going to uh, allow myself to create this, uh, not just a website, but a base of knowledge, you know? And, and the last thing I like about Docusaurus, but not the least important, is the ability to create document technical documentation in several languages. What I mean is, I am allowed to translate the website or the document into either into English, uh, or maybe if they want to, uh, if 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 they want to create documentation in Hindi or maybe in Spanish, because I am Mexican and I work for uh, for a Mexican, uh, well, most people in my country speak Spanish anyway. So I am able to create this uh, technical documentation in several languages and make use of, uh, of multi-language translation on the website, you know? So I'm getting, uh, it sounds like a lot of work, but I believe that if I manage to create this for myself first and I can show it to somebody else, maybe, uh, maybe I can convince people to add to it, you know, to, to compile knowledge into it. But I need to build it for myself first and make it usable for myself. And that's basically the plan for today. I'm getting a, a I think I have a meeting for like in an hour, uh, so I, I should probably get back to work, but uh, I wanted to share with you um, a little bit about my, my day and what I'm thinking to do today. So now, since uh, I already uh, a little bit free of time, I may like to try to work uh, in a, I may like to, to work in a virtual office uh, in the metaverse right now. So uh, I'm picking up this avatar. This avatar is a robot. As, as you can see, I really like uh, robots because uh, uh, since they are not human, really, I, I can embrace the fact that I like uh, like an automaton working, doing something uh, something useful, not just uh, rambling about, you know. Uh, but anyway, humanity is something that you cannot just uh, rip yourself off of. But I like the idea of, you know what, uh, I'm working, that's what I am, a robot right now. I'm here to do uh, a specific task, a job, and, and not be distracted. But anyway, I think I've been talking for a long time anyway. So it's about, oh, it's 10 now. I wonder if uh, I'm missing my meeting. I don't think so. Uh, oh, no, I, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, it's still like uh, 45 minutes until my next meeting. It's fine. So I wanted to take a, a break mid-morning. Uh, I'm going to pick up some... Uh, I need I, I need to take some coffee. I'm caffeinated already, but uh, I don't have any food left. I need to go buy groceries. Probably I'm going to do that this afternoon after work. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening. If you indeed are, and uh, see you later.